Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Davis Bridge, otherwise known as the Battle of Hatches Bridge, located in Hardman and McNary counties on October 5th, 1862. After the Second Battle of Corinth, Union Commander Grant wanted to take advantage of the situation and ordered General Ord and his 8,000 men to secure the Davis Bridge, which crossed the Hatchie River. Initially, Ord had planned on trapping the Confederate troops on the east side of the river, locking them down so General Rosecrans could approach from the other side and destroy the Confederate forces completely. Unbeknownst to the Union Commander, Confederate General Van Dorn had moved his men quickly to Davis Bridge. There he secured the bridge, utilizing Confederate General Sterling Price. Price, wanting to keep the Union from an easy sweep, left at least one brigade above the heights on the west side of Davis Bridge. On the morning of October 6th, the Union forces finally arrived, a day late and a dollar short to sweep the area. They saw the Confederates defending the bridge and decided to attack with eight cannons for support, pushing as many infantry as they could muster up the ridge. The fighting was brutal and effective. In their sweep up the heights, they were able to capture more than 200 Confederate soldiers and four Confederate artillery cannons. In a lucky break, they were also able to take the bridge and advance on the town of Chihuahua, five miles past the bridge. They had successfully trapped the Confederates on the east side per their plans, even though the Confederates had unexpected reinforcements. Like many battles, the Union suffered from a combination of bad luck and bad commanders, and General Rosecrans arrived late to the battle. This delay allowed Confederate General Price and his men to keep the Union at bay longer than anticipated. This time gave the Confederates enough breathing room to find a second crossing across the Hatchie River at Cram's Mill. While the fighting kept on due to Rosecrans being late, Confederate cavalrymen were able to rebuild the damaged mill dam. Once it was fixed, the Confederate forces were able to safely cross at Cram's Mill and the Confederates were able to escape the trap and live to fight another day. It should be noted that during the fighting, Union General Edward O. C. Ord was wounded in battle. He was shot in the ankle. Final overall casualties were 500 Union soldiers killed, wounded, and missing, while the Confederates suffered 400 killed, wounded, or missing. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.